Hey, I'm going to show you how to use the Game Chops After Effects template. Uh, the first thing is I'm opening from a blank project, so I'm not opening the template file. I'm I'm importing the template. So I'm going to hit Command I or File Import to um, import the template 2019 into a new document. And uh, I'll do two songs today. I'm going to do Persephone and T. Lopes Blanca, so I'm going to import it twice. And also. Uh, after importing, click it on the click on the root here, and it'll drop it at the same place. Otherwise, it'll import it into the folder. It gets a little messy. Then I rename things, and I should put the whole titles here, but just for this video. All right. Now we're going to import the assets. This is recording. Good. Uh, let's do uh, coffee date one first, actually. Coffee date. Let's find the art Persephone. All right, uh, let's go to the masters. Oops, I put them in the T folder. Put them in the right place. All right, first things, I'm gonna drag the song onto the music. It drops it in. Hit Control-Alt-B for um, region of interest. Right click, trim comp to work area. Now the music comp is the full length of the song and that's gonna help us in a minute. Next, I wanna take the art, drag it into the art comp. Scale at 50%. All album art will scale 50. Uh, then I'm going to drag it below the black solid so we have a fade in. And you can put anything you want in this layer. I'm just going to put the album art for now. Next, I'm going to go into the Viz Comp and drag the song in here. Then I have to manually, this is the tedious dist part, manually go ahead and enable all eight visuals to see the song. There is a way to automate this, but it creates bugs in the render. So this doing it manually is, is the way. All right, so now we've set up these three little dashy comps. We go into the big one. Now we do uh, control all B again on the music layer to trim the comp to the length of the song. Now our comp is the full length of the song. Oh, now we got to drop in the Game Chops intro. I'm going to import that. We're almost done. I believe this is just, I already saved this, the GC intro outro. We'll drag the intro. And you only need to import this once per batch. So drop the intro right at the top. So you can see, there it is. All right, you see this orange bar, the expression error. All we need to do now is right click on any layer and go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. So it'll freeze for a second, it'll draw the keyframes. And now we have the tempo synced stars. And that's it. And that now if we want, you can drag the outro on, go all the way to the end of the comp and hit the bracket just to below like the plus equals key by the delete key. And that'll pop it at the end. Although I'm not sure if this is cool. I want your opinion whether or not uh, we should even do the end screen or we could just put this thing over here. Um, if you do like the end screen, you can make it 3D and that kind of changes the look. But maybe we won't even do this. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. How long was the video? Three minutes? Okay, here, I'll show you again how fast it is by doing it on the T comp, all right? So, uh, oh, and then you want to name the, the comp, whatever the song name is. This is uh, T and Evelyn. It should have a better name than that, but I just want to make sure I get you this video. All right, so we're importing the assets. Game Chops, T Lopes folder. Let's get the art first. There's Blanca. Import again. Let's get the master. There's Blanca. Drag him into the Blanca folder. All right, step one. Drag the music on. Region of interest. Trim comp to work area. Done. Drag the art on. 50% scale. Drag below the black solid. Done. Then um, the viz comp. Drag the art on, and I, I arrange my windows like this specifically because this is so easy. If this um, effect controls window is like far away from the layers, this is a way more slow and, and kind of painstaking process, like a mini game. All right, now we go to the main comp, trim comp to work area again. There's a whole thing, right click, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. Now our thing's synced, and now go back into the intro outro comp. Grab the Game Chops intro, and let's not even do the, uh, let's not even do the outro on this one. Boop. And it's done.
and then we would uh, rename it, I don't know, Street Fighter Blanca T Lopes Remix. Oh, this is T Lopes and Andrew one. All right, that's kind of a long title, but I think it's appropriate uh, for the YouTube channel. The art, everybody wants the artist names in the title, so let's just do it. Um, so then we're gonna go to Media Encoder to encode, and you can do this in a batch if there's a few. Um, I know there'll be a few to go. Da, 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 da. I think this is, I'm doing this faster than I thought I was going to. Wow, two videos in five minutes. So like I built this template to be really fast. It's just like with the computer broken down, like there's no reason that I have to be the only person to do this. So I appreciate you taking on uh, this responsibility. I have a, a, a YouTube 1080p high quality preset. I'll just show you. Um, it's based off YouTube 1080p, but then uh, we got the thing here. Maximum depth is turned on. All right, and then we could drop this to two pass, but I think, okay. Maximum quality is turned on, and then audio is at 320. We got that Game Drops logo? Okay, great. Yeah, that's it. And then I render them out into my Google Drive, and but I guess we'll make a new Dropbox folder for you. Um, renders. I'll make a new Dropbox folder for these to go, or you and Ellie can sync up and simply get them up on the channel. Um, I think it would be really good if uh, I wasn't bottlenecking this whole, and, you know, we'll get the YouTube live again. That'll be nice. Uh, okay, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope my mic wasn't clipping the whole time. <laughs> All right, see you later.